Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Finn, or yet another gaming fail, and I am here to teach you some cool stuff for the mission editor in DCS. Uh, if you're like me, you probably like making your own missions, or um, would like to make your own missions, and you just want to learn a few extra bits that will uh, give you that upper hand in making some really cool stuff to show off to your wingmen, or to fly in. Um, so, let's kick it off. We've already done um, placing maneuvering, uh, we've done different tasks like surface to air missile sites, carriers, TACAN, ICLS and aero refueling. We've done bombing and uh, carpet bombing and now we're going to do some more uh, advanced stuff. So um, let's start looking at triggers. Now triggers are really really useful. There's so much you can do with triggers that you cannot do as standard with the game otherwise you kind of have to learn timings and things like this you know so we're going to cover some really interesting stuff for triggers now we're going to go a little bit overboard um it's going to be quite interesting uh hopefully it'll be very useful um so what we're going to do let's start with plonking down a vehicle um doesn't matter what kind of vehicle let's chuck a an lav 25 down here right in the middle of kutaisi uh, here we are, you can see him set up there, got his nice cannon on them, um, right in the middle of the runway. Now, what we want him to do is, like, let's say that we want him over here, sat on one end of the runway, and we want him to go to the other end of the runway. Now, we, we don't want him to go there straight away, we only want him to leave when it gets to five minutes. Now, you have two options there. You can have a set start time at five minutes here, like that. Now, that's great. That means that he'll wait for five minutes on on the uh, the start thing before he starts driving, and then if we hit add over here, he will uh, you know he'll really quickly make his way over, and it will only take him um, you know, three minutes to get there or whatever. In fact, we've not set him any speed there. Uh, it takes him ten minutes apparently uh, after his start at five, so it takes him five minutes to drive the whole length of the runway. Let's have him go as fast as he can. Fact, let's just set it to 100 and then it'll uh, dip it down there you are 54 that's his max speed so let's just uh, hit fly on that one so hit save and fly and now this guy is gonna wait five minutes and then he's gonna go straight to the other end of the runway so let's hit f7 oh, come on buddy where are you at oh yeah that's the thing we're not going to hit F7. We're not going to do anything because he's not going to spawn in for five minutes. That's what that five minute start timer does. He's not going to wait there for five minutes. He's not going to do anything for five minutes. There we are. We passed the five minute mark. If we hit F7, here he is. At the end of the runway. And he's going to drive all the way to the other end. And it's going to take him a couple minutes. Or a minute or two. Yeah, there we are. Two minutes just over that. And he's at the other end of the runway. Great. So he did exactly what you wanted him to do. But his vehicle wasn't there for that first five minutes. Now, what we can do alternatively is we can have him to start at the standard mission start time. Great. You know, we, he can start and start doing whatever it is he needs to do. But we can hit add on his first waypoint. And we're going to have him do a task. And we're just going to have him hold. And he's just going to hold. He's just going to sit there. Hold just means stop. Stop moving, stop doing whatever. And so he's just going to hold. So if we hit fly now, we hit yes, we hit start. This guy's going to load in. And here we go. He's doing nothing. Let's speed up time. He's not doing anything. His vehicle is sat there. He's doing absolutely sweet bugger all. That's great. That's, that's kind of what we want him to do. We want him to wait for five minutes, right? But... He's going to sit there indefinitely until we tell him to move. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this funky icon here. So you've got root, you've got ammo or weapons or your your outfitting tree. Uh, and then we've got triggered actions, which is this kind of weird, uh, like, four-leafed clover icon there. We're going to hit add. We're going to go to perform command. And now we're going to tell him to to uh, go to waypoint. We're going to set him to waypoint one, right? Now that doesn't that's not going to do anything, right now. He's going to sit there and wait there, because this is a triggered action. 
this action can only be executed by a trigger, right? So that could be anything. That could be setting him to move once time has passed, once something has happened. So we're going to go to below the weather icon, uh, above the uh, mission goals, you've got trigger, rules for trigger, and it looks like a switch, uh, as it would in a circuit diagram. So on here, you've got triggers, conditions, and actions. So triggers, this is going to be the category. So we're going to tell this guy to move. Move is what he's going to do. Next, condition. Now this is going to be what is going to make him do this movement? What is going to make him do this activity? So we're going to change the type because it has a whole bunch of different options. We'll go through them later on and find different ways that you can do it, but we can do time more. Time more means the time is more than. So if we set this to 300, that's 300 seconds or five minutes, right? Next, what do we want him to do? Well, we want him to do that triggered action. We want him to do the thing that we want him that we set him to do. And so we're going to use either AI task push or AI task set. Now task push will take his current task, push it out the window and go, nope, you're going to do this new thing. And task set will take the task that he's got at the moment and stack the next task onto it. So task push will force him to go to the next waypoint. So after five minutes now, this guy is going to uh, start driving down to the end of the runway and that's exactly what we wanted to do that's what we've got him set up to do so hopefully this this basic little uh, task will uh, get him going I'm just gonna up the speed here we are ah oh, there you are he did it now I did it a bit wrong because he went bloody quick there um, so let's just quick uh, quickly go back to the mission editor hit fly again so you can see that properly um, I was a bit overzealous on the on the speed there uh, hit fly, come on then, and then you can hear him wearing up, we're at one minute, we're at two minutes, we're at three minutes, we're at four minutes, and then five minutes, here we are. Now, f after five minutes, he drives down to the end of the runway, doing exactly what we wanted him to do. Fantastic. There we are. I mean, he's turned around in this case. He's done a little spin -a But there you go. That's it. That's how you get a trigger set up to tell one unit to do one thing. Now, in future videos, we'll cover some more stuff. But hopefully, that is a really good informational start to you using triggers to build missions, to do whatever you like. And we can find whole new ways of doing this. And I'll cover this in future videos. So, uh, I hope this has been very informative i hope you guys have a lovely day i hope you guys might like and subscribe maybe we'll see if you're interested i'll put some more videos out like this um but yeah if this has been useful i hope you have a great day all right bye